Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Elena, and today I wanted to share with you some of the amazing makeup products that I got very recently. I've gotten a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I love eyeshadows. I feel like since I've gotten more eyeshadows, I've been more open to the shades I've been using. I used to buy a lot of palettes, but I would be very careful about the colors that I used. And now that I've been playing with makeup more, I feel so much more comfortable doing crazier colors, darker colors, and I feel like they're so pretty. Which is why I wanted to share some of the palettes that I bought with you because I think makeup is art and it's so much fun. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that down below. Set your alert settings, that way you are notified when a new video comes out. And let's get right to it. This right here is the Hot Buttered Rum by Too Faced. It has the most beautiful colors and unfortunately, one of the colors broke because I did drop it, but I just think this is such a pretty palette. Too Faced is one of my favorite brands. Their eyeshadows are incredible. Mmm. First of all, this smells like, I don't know, it smells like your childhood. It smells like toys. It smells like, it's supposed to smell like hot butter rum, which it probably does, but I love that Too Faced has palettes and products that smell like different things. I think it makes it so much fun. And plus the colors in this palette are very neutral and then they have very spicy tones. I've already swatched it. Here are all the amazing colors. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but starting from the wrist, the color is whipped cream. The second one is vanilla extra. Third one is bottoms up. Then we have warm and fuzzy, born to rum, cinnamon, spiked, and buttered rum. And cinnamon, which is the third from last one, is the one that got ruined, but it is one of my absolute favorites. Next up, I have the amazing gingerbread spice palette. This was another one from the Christmas collection, but nonetheless, the colors are still so beautiful. This one has some pinky and purpley tones to it, so I thought this was such a beautiful palette. Like I said, I have loved Too Faced forever. I always collect their palettes because I love how rich and creamy their colors are. They're not very powdery, so you have a lot of fallout and they stay on the color last. It's not just like you put it on and it looks good and then it fades to like weird shades over time. If you know what I'm talking about, certain palettes, certain eyeshadows, like you'll put them on and they look good at first. And then throughout the day, you're like, this looks like a totally different color. Like the shade just kind of like wipes off and leaves almost a stain. These palettes do not do that. And look how beautiful this is. Like look at all those amazing colors. So from my wrist on, we have Powdered Sugar, Frostbite Me, Sugar Daddy, Spiked Eggnog, Looky at My Cookie, Figgy Pudding, Gumdrop, Spice is Nice, Hot Toddy, and gingerbread and then I'll go ahead and do the rest because there's a lot in this palette and I couldn't fit it on my arm okay and then for the last set first color is oh snap reindeer paws warm and toasty bake it till you make it gingerbread latte ooh burn spice of life and spiced rum these are the darker colors oh my gosh I can't tell you how obsessed I am with this shade right here this is gingerbread latte and this one right here this is oh snap I love mauve pink brown shades. I think they're so gorgeous. Like, look at that. Who doesn't want to wear that? And by the way, I'm probably literally rubbing off my tan, which I'll do a video on this tanner. It's absolutely amazing. But anyway, the gorgeous palette that I'm actually wearing right now, I'm really excited about because I love this brand and it's not as expensive as most other brands. Still so amazing and beautiful. And let me tell you why. So this is ColourPop's California Love Palette. If you know me, I am obsessed with California. Like, I just love California. So this palette, it, it makes me reminisce. So I love this because the shades are golden. It just reminds me of a sunset. The warm, beautiful tones of this palette, guys. I think you'll be able to see this one. I think that's the best we're going to get. The packaging, I love it, love it, love it. To be honest with this palette, it is a little bit more powdery and it has a little bit more fallout, but I did wear it and throughout the day I didn't find that the color changes or that it just looks like stained on your eyes like I was mentioning before. I actually really love the colors and the formula in this palette is not bad at all. Like I said, it is a little bit powdery, it falls out a little bit, but it's not terrible and the colors are still beautiful even on. So for this one, starting from the wrist, I went all the way up to here because I just wanted to get through this whole palette in one this time. 
We have Diego, Highway 1, Cahuenga, Gnarly, Laguna, Mission, Sequoia, El Capitan, and this one is so pretty. And it just reminds me, El Capitan is a theater on Hollywood Boulevard. I used to pass it every single day. Then we have Cruisin', we have Gold Rush, Surf Rider, and The Bay. So these colors are just so pretty. Like, can you see them? I don't know if you can see them on camera. I honestly don't know. So what I used on my eyes today, I used Highway 1, Cahuenga, I used Gnarly, Laguna, the bay and surf rider so i used five colors yeah here we have another palette also by ColourPop. so this one is a little bit bigger and it's perfect for valentine's day it is the truly madly deeply pressed powder palette when i saw this i was like mm. it has a ton of pink colors it has very glitzy glimmery colors so this is a very girly palette guys if you are looking for a gift for your girlfriend your wife your boo your sister your friend whatever this is a great Valentine's Day gift. I think I got it at, at Ulta for like $25. I will link it down below if I find it for you, but so pretty and glittery for your girly girl. Girls, if you are going out for Valentine's Day, this is the absolute perfect palette. It's the same consistency as the other one, so it is a little bit powdery, like I said, but the colors are still beautiful. I also wore this one. Look how cute that is. Nice little gold foil. Who doesn't love that? And then here's the inside. I'll try to get some footage of this later so you can actually see the palette because these three shades are just pure glitter. Those glittery shades are just amazing. From the wrist, we have Matter of Fact, Golden Gate Bridge, Jackpot, Pretty Cruel, Sweet Dreams, Hungry Ghost, Indio, Made to Last, Blossom, Renegade, and Misty. Okay, so if you see glitter on my arm the rest of this video, it's because I couldn't get it off. It's super hard to get off. Here are the rest of the color. I have Mr. Sandman, Lay Low, Cutouts, Poodle, and Too Much. This next palette I'm also really excited about because I have been following Huda Beauty for the longest time. It is the nude medium. This is like the mini palette. They have huge palettes of this, but I decided to go with the mini because it has most of the colors that I like. Packaging is super cute. It looks really up there. It looks really luxe. It's high quality, gorgeous colors. So I love this little mini palette. Let's go ahead and swatch. This brand does not have names on their colors. So that is how these look, but they are really pretty. Like I love that one that gold one, this one I love on the lid. This palette took me maybe a year to get it. I'm not really sure why, but it's super pretty. And that is the white peach palette. So this collection I love because I love peaches. I love the scent of peaches. So when they came out with this collection, I was like, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and open this up. It's like a magnet and that is the peach palette. So it also has very mauve tones, but this one's a little bit different because it actually has like peach colored tones too. And then it has like a black color. This one was purple. It broke, unfortunately. There was no saving it. But this palette is a little bit different because it has some colors. You can tell they're very different tones. The packaging is so sturdy and beautiful. It has this acrylic thing here and it just says white peach. But yeah, look, the little peaches on here. Like how cute is that? This one might be a little bit harder to see because they are lighter colors, but so gorgeous i love this one it's like a pink color with gold flecks in it i think that's so beautiful so here we go from the wrist we have peach cream peach sorbet peach ice peach suede glistening peach fuzzy peaches and dreams these are the last three because the last one fell out of the palette so there was only three more so we have on the grill which is that black charcoal color creme de la peach that really different color that i told you it's like that yellowy and then we have Sweet Fig, which is one of my favorite colors in the palette that I've used many, many times. And as you can see, I really did use this palette a lot. And the last eyeshadow palette I have is also by Too Faced. It is the Chocolate Bon Bon palette. And I actually got this one for Christmas. So it's a really pretty palette. All Pinks, another one that if you're looking for a Valentine's Day gift, this is a more expensive one. If you want a less expensive one, go with the ColourPop. Otherwise, Too Faced is always, always always worth it i love the brown tones i literally was looking for brown palettes like like brown tones like this mocha colors like just very brown tones to do neutral looks with 
and I couldn't find palettes and all of the palettes have brown tones so I'm super excited now I have tons of makeup to work with and they're even heart shaped so if you're looking for that perfect Valentine's Day gift guys here it is. I feel like this is such a fun one to play with because it does have so many different shades. So this is half of the palette. It is Almond Truffle, Cashew Chew, Dark Truffle, Satin Sheets, Cotton Candy, Pecan Praline, Cafe Au Lait, and Totally Fetch. This is the second set. Oh, I love it. That blue or that gray looks like a very blue gray. Like it's such a pretty color. Here we have Sprinkles, Bordeaux, Earl Grey, Molasses Chip, Mocha, Divinity, Malted, and Black Currant. You know what's funny is until I actually swatched it, I didn't realize how cool and different the colors were. Like when you look at it, you're like, oh, it has some browns, some pinks. But then when you actually swatch it on, you're like, this is for your artist. This is for the person who wants to play around with makeup and create something beautiful. And you can create a million different looks. So even though this palette is a little bit more expensive, definitely worth it for the variety of colors that you're getting, first of all. The quality and the beautiful packaging. Look at the little hearts. It looks like little sweethearts. Those were all my eyeshadow palettes. So hopefully you liked that, but I really quickly wanted to share with you the lipstick that I'm wearing because it's not something that I would normally wear at all. And that is the Kylie Jenner. I actually got it for Christmas and I probably wouldn't have purchased this for myself, but I thought it was really cool because it did come with two eyeshadows. It came with a pressed powder blush a lip liner, a lipstick, and then also, what is this called? The color is called Bare, but it's the liquid lipsticks that she has. And this is a really pretty light color, but this is actually what I'm wearing right now. I don't know how well you can see that, but I kind of outlined my lips with a liner, and then I just filled in the center with this other color, and it's just, I really like the combination. So this is brown. This is like a brown-toned lip lip liner it's called iced latte and this is almost friday lipstick and like i said this is not normally a color that i would reach for to be honest if i would have picked this up i would have been like this is kind of a grandma color but when i put it on with a lip liner it's actually a really pretty combo this is the kit it is the pressed powder in we're going shopping and then the second one is this eyeshadow Topaz is the darker color. Quartz is the lighter color. This is the Bare Liquid Lipstick. This is the Iced Latte Lip Color. And then this one is the Almost Friday Lip Color. So yeah, guys, that is all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it, even though my arm is raw. It just brings me a lot of happiness to make videos and put content out and be able to talk to you guys. I just want to share love and passion with the world, and I want people to be happy. So hopefully I can bring that here, and hopefully I brought that into your day. So if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.